The Colorado potato beetle is the most destructive insect pest of potatoes in north central and northeastern United States. The beetle spends the winter underground and in the spring and early summer when potatoes start to grow they uh, put out an odor that the beetle detects and the Colorado potato beetle begins walking toward uh, potato fields and if necessary to get to the potato field the beetle actually grows wings so it can fly there. And what the Colorado potato beetle does is it defoliates potato plants. It eats all the leaves off of potato plants. Well, potato production in the United States began in the 1700s up in New Hampshire. And uh, what happened as settlers started moving west, uh, they planted potatoes in a, almost a straight line from the Atlantic Ocean to the Rocky Mountains. Well, the Colorado potato beetle started out in Mexico. And it wasn't feeding on potatoes in Mexico. It was feeding on a, a wild plant known as buffalo burr. And bison and cattle carried the, uh, the plant, buffalo burr, and the insect, the beetle, into the Rocky Mountains, where it met potatoes for the first time in Colorado in the 1830s and took a liking to them. The beetles moved over from eating buffalo burr to eating potatoes. And uh, the uh, beetle then began moving out of the Rocky Mountains east. In 1859, tremendous damage was done to potatoes by the beetle in Nebraska. And the beetle just kept moving east, uh, munching on potatoes, and reached the Atlantic Ocean in 1880. Well, the results of the Colorado potato beetle were de devastating to potato production in the U.S. Potato production went down. Um, the price of potatoes quadrupled because there was a shortage and many potato growers stopped growing potatoes and American potato plants were just being defoliated by this insect. Well the use of insecticides to kill the Colorado potato beetle uh, happened and began sort of accidentally. A farmer was painting shutters on his barn and looked down and saw the beetles defoliating his potato plants and he threw a bunch of paint down on the beetles and the paint had some arsenic in it. And the beetles ate some of that paint, got some of the arsenic, and were killed. And so researchers and the Department of Agriculture investigated ways of formulating arsenic so that it could be sprayed on potato plants so that the beetle would ingest some of the arsenic and be killed. Well, today arsenic's not used anymore. It hasn't been for a long time. Today modern synthetic chemicals that have been approved by the EPA are used every year in the United States to keep the Colorado potato beetle from defoliating America's potato fields. Thought you should know.